every show needs titles. And Final Cut Pro 10 provides a wide variety of title templates to work with. Start by opening the Titles browser and make sure you have the category list set to All. As we have seen with the Transitions browser, you can drag your mouse cursor over any title to see a preview of it in the viewer. You'll have plenty of time to browse the many animated titles available, but for now, look for the one called Basic Title. The first step is to decide where you want a title to be placed. Yes. In this example, I'm creating a lower third title over this adorable child, so viewers will know who she is. The title will be placed directly over this clip in the timeline. To place the title, just drag the template from the browser and drop it into place. Titles are 10 seconds long by default, so now might be a good time to make adjustments to the length. The small line between the title and the clip shows the connection between them. In Final Cut Pro 10, anything in the timeline that's above or below the primary storyline is called a connected clip. In this case, my new title is connected to the video clip of this adorable child. If I move the video clip, the title comes with it. Position the playhead directly over the title in the timeline so you can see it in the viewer. Click once on the title to select it, then look for the details in the inspector. You may have to click the text tab at the top of the inspector to see title specific options. Now you can start making changes to your title. Start by looking for the text entry box. This is where you'll enter text and make changes to it. Once you've typed something in, you can click and drag to select portions of the text or to select all of it. You can use that to apply the rest of these design options. To change the color of your text, look for the face attribute. If the face section is collapsed, hover the mouse over it and click the word show. Just like font and size, changing the face color will only change the text that you have highlighted in the text entry section. For this example, we're going to leave fill with set to color, so we can change the text to a simple solid color. Instead of clicking the drop menu, which gives you a limited spectrum view, click directly on the box that shows the current color. This opens the standard Mac color picker. There are several tabs providing different ways to select colors in the picker, but of course the crayon box method is pretty easy to understand. The outline, glow, and drop shadow functions operate very much like the face attribute. To activate each of them, click the box next to the name of the function to turn it blue. Click Show to expand the section and experiment with the different functions to apply them to your title. I've made a lot of adjustments to how my title looks, but it's still right in the middle of the viewer. Remember, I wanted this title placed in the lower third area of the screen. Just hover your mouse over the title. When you see the white box, click and drag to reposition it. Adding transitions to connected clips like titles 
introduces some unexpected complications, but it's nothing you can't handle. Start by simply dragging the cross-dissolve transition onto the title. You'll notice it doesn't seem to want you to add a transition to one side or the other. That's fine. Go ahead and add the transition. Take a close look at what's happened here. There is now a transition on both ends of the title, that much we expected. The title also now appears as tall as the video clips in the primary storyline. What's more, there is now a gray frame of sorts around the title. This frame is called a secondary storyline. The thing you have to remember here is how to move a title once it's part of a secondary storyline. You will not be able to move a title by grabbing it right in the middle, as you will see if you try. Instead, a secondary storyline can be moved by grabbing it along the upper edge, the top of that gray frame. Other than that, working with a secondary storyline is pretty simple. Be aware that some transitions, like cross-dissolve, will work naturally in a secondary storyline, but others will not. One transition that's really worth using with titles is called slide. To make it look right, you'll only have to change the outgoing transition to slide out. Just click the title in the timeline and look for the type option in the inspector. Try it, it looks amazing with titles. Working with Final Cut Pro 10's animated titles can be a lot of fun. Get into that inspector and click the title tab to see if a given title has any special attributes that can be adjusted. Many animated titles have multiple text elements coming in and out of the screen, sometimes at different times. You may have to click on the word you want to change. 